What's going on everyone? This is Jason at SportsBoxBreaks.com coming to you live on 3-26-2015. We are doing our Tops opening day team break number one. What do we got? We've got Nancy R with the Diamondbacks, Patrick C with the Braves, Michael B with the Orioles, Ron S with the Red Sox, Bob S with the Cubs, Nancy R with the White Sox, Joe A with the Reds, Joe W with the Indians, Terry W with the Rockies, Chris W with the Tigers, Nancy R with the Astros, Gene W with the Royals, Stephen A with the Angels, Gilbert A with the Dodgers, Scott A with the Marlins, Kurt M with the Brewers, Scott A with the Twins, Nancy R with the Mets, Eric J with the Yankees, Patrick C with the A's, James D with the Phillies, Nick B with the Pirates, Nancy R with the Padres, Chad C with the uh, Giants, uh, Ron S with the Mariners, Thomas W with the Cardinals, Oscar B with the Rays, Nancy R with the Rangers, Oscar B with the Blue Jays, and Melvin D with the Nationals. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what happens with this. And like I said... We sold this before the checklist came out. This is a for fun break. And we'll take care of you along the way here. Let's see what we get. There's a lot of boxes. Holy crap. And they're tiny. Hang on there. Sit down, get yourself a drink, and let's see what we pull. tiny boxes <laughs> I've got no room on my little desk here Kevin's laughing at me yeah yeah well, let's see what I can do here let's see if we can do a Jenga kind of thing let's have fun with this guys oh -ho, hello opening day Oh, this is like, all right, here we go. All right, let's have fun. Seven cards per pack, and there are 36 packs per box. <laughs> we'll take a look, see what's going on. It says, look for autographs. I don't know. And relics. I know there's mascots in here like the Philly Fanatic and stuff. attack this but here we go Let's see what we get Let's pull some one ones make it worth our while all right pretty cool design and here you got franchise franchise flashbacks so it looks like they're in their old uniform inserts there so what I'll do is I'll put inserts on the side. So that's what we're going to be looking for here, some inserts and things like that. Let's 
My fingers are definitely going to hurt after this one. All right, Superstar Celebrations of Coco Crisp. Hunter Pence. Andrew McCutcheon. So we're looking for blue borders. Stuff that looks different. Nick uh, Castellanos, throwback. Yeah, looking for short prints too. Yeah, the variations. If you guys see any variations, let me know. Don't worry, we're going to ship you everything. I'm looking for stuff that looks different, that's for sure. Stadium scenes. Any of these cards that aren't for... Like, this is an Oriole Park, so that would go to the Orioles, we'll have to do. Yep, that's what we're going to look for. We're looking for short prints. Rosy Red. <laughs> <That's ridiculous. laughs> oh, but it's fantastic. <laughs> Rosy Red's in the house. Superstar Celebrations, Tommy Hunter. Don't forget to follow us, guys. We got old school Jonathan Lucroy. Now, are the 101s going to be numbered on the front? That's my question. Like, that looks different. There's a blue. So, there you go. It's kind of a refractor. There's a blue. Reds, Mike Leak. That's what I'm going to be interested in seeing. So, Reds with a nice little blue refractor there. Baltimore Orioles mascot. He's got wiffle balls in his mouth. Identifying feature, jet black hair. George Springer and Colton Wong. Opening day celebrations. Nothing there. After the first box, I'll speed it up a little. Get us moving. Mike Trout throwback. Tony Vada. That is Target Field, so that's Minnesota. baseball listed on site museums there supremes there all right we got another blue jose altuve blue jose altuve blue for the uh houston astros here's a hit the dirt yasiel puig insert so i guess the it looks like the short prints from what i was looking at or like non-baseball actions, maybe. Like I know they have a Matty Bumgarner that looks like uh, he's holding the trophy instead of pitching. Danny Santana. Love his father, Carlos. Stadium Scenes, Comerica Park. Those are pretty cool looking cards there. Uh, 
Oh, we got another one. Daniel Norris. Daniel Norris insert for the Blue Jays. Julio Tehran, number one. Oh. Uh, I'm back now. I mean, I think it was still recording. Yeah, the one recording. All right, we got a jersey. We got a jersey for the Mets. David Wright jersey for the Mets. So there we go, a hit in this box. It might be one per box. That'd be nice, 20 hits. Nothing there. Guys, don't forget we got lots of baseball listed. You can pick up your spots now. If we can get some stuff filled. We just listed Bowman Baseball. Hechavaria Blue for the Marlins. Brett Gardner blue. Brett Gardner blue. There's Dinger, the Colorado Rockies mascot. Nothing there. Ooh, check out this. It's pretty neat. Opening day. This is a throwback kind of card. I have a Tom Browning card that looks like this. So there's a little opening day stars refractor. Or what do we call those? Reflector? I don't know what they're calling them. 3D set checklist. That's what they're calling it. No. That doesn't look like that. Yeah, I guess that's what they're calling this. So, 3D they're calling that. Felix Hernandez. Lucas Duda, blue. Nothing. And we got a Paul Goldschmidt, the 3D. 
We also have a Supreme baseball. That we do. I just remembered that one. There's a blue of Carlos Beltran. And followed by Paz. Pablo Sandoval. Four packs to go in box number one. 19 boxes to go. Yeah. Corey Kluber was in there. There was Theodore Roosevelt, the mascot, doing the Ice Bucket Challenge. Uh, we pulled a David Wright jersey card, and we pulled two 3D cards, Paul Goldschmidt and uh, King Felix. A bunch of blues, Jared Weaver. Jared Weaver blue. So blue looks like it's in every third pack, maybe. Every third or fourth pack. Madison Bumgarner, Team Spirit, Mr. Matt with hair. All right. And that is box number one. Moving on to box number two. Let's see if we pull another hit and see if it's a hit per box with the hobby. Box number two, way up top. Coming at us. We got one hit. Like I said, we got a couple of those 3D cards. I don't know what they are per pack, but let's see what else we can do. A gazillion packs there. A gazillion more. And one. Like I said, we put it up to see if there'd be any interest. and We sold like 10 spots, but then... The blues were supposed to be numbered, but they changed their minds. Nice. Kind of like Tops changed their mind about releasing Five Star on Monday of the week of release day. Five Star Football was supposed to come out this Wednesday. We got word on Monday that Tops isn't releasing it. All right, blue Garrett Cole. Blue Garrett Cole. Hmm? Well, yeah, they're releasing it. Yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying is it's supposed to release on Wednesday, and they tell you on Monday. Julio Tehran, number one. Soler, Team Spirit, insert. Those look like those should be number two.
Oh, I know. My fingers are already cramping. David Wright. David Wright, 3D. Might have to get Kevin on here for one box. It'll be his <laughs> throwing him in. Throwing him in. Mrs. Rosie. As long as we keep the flow going, who's ready for the uh, who's ready for opening day? Not this, but opening day actually. Alan Craig, blue. I already know the Giants are going to suck because it's a odd number year. So. Jose Abreu, 3D looking card. I want to see a 101. Let's get a 101. They said there's printing plates in here and there's actual 101s. Joe Mauer, blue. I just don't know what a 101 would look like. I don't know where it would be numbered. Oh, I bet it is. The night after we broke Heritage, I couldn't make a fist. Actually, it did hurt. <laughs> like, my hands, like, actually physically hurt. Yeah, I know, right? Nothing there. Guys, if we can get Supreme filled... Because that's the only thing that's up on our site baseball-wise. And that's shooting up in price. But if we can get Supreme Baseball filled, we could break a baseball next week. We've got two footballs and three basketballs on our schedule for next week. Would you guys be interested in any division-style breaks? Or randoms? We tried to list randoms when we first started. We got not a lot of interest. We got some interest in our division breaks. Remember, if you're ever looking for personal boxes of anything, shoot us an email. Sometimes we can get it a bit cheaper than what's out there. Ryan Howard. TC Bear. Let's see if we can get another hit here. Keeping it going. Sit down. Predictions. Who's going to win what? What division? Who's our division winners? Dodgers trying to buy their way into a championship again. Edwin Encarnacion Blue. Javier Baez Blue. Oh, 
Yeah, Padres should be really, really cool. I think they figured we got to put some product on the field sooner or later. And depending on what cards are put in the 2015 products, could actually make the Padres a nice team to buy. Nothing there. Four to go. Oh, don't worry, the Giants will be there. The Giants will be sitting in last. Jorge Soler. Blue. So picking up some blue parallel rookies there. The Cubs. Three packs to go. Nothing there. Two packs to go. Pirate Parrot. The last pack. Box two. All right, nothing there. So, moving on to the next box. You think the Giants are going to finish? First, I don't know. Pens out for a while. No real big pop in the lineup. And Brandon Belt's your pop. They do play small ball. I am hopeful they can compete, but all depends on pitching. Lincecum's been looking good again. We'll keep him in middle relief or long relief and not try to start him. Yeah, it's just typical Dodgers. All right. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, if he stays healthy, true. Yeah, he's going to hit 25 to 30. But the thing is, number one, he plays first. And you know, Posey's going to be over there for a while. Yeah, they're good for 20, 25 each, maybe. There's no 40 home run hitter sitting there in cleanup, though. But their stadium's built for that, so. I mean, it works. It's worked for the last, you know, six years. My thing is, I hate when they have Posey there and they take belts, you know, bad out of the lineup. You got to share a blue for the Yankees. Out of there. I don't know, because I don't know what belt speed you'd have to hide them. You can't put them in right because of the big gigantic gap out there, so I guess you'd have to play them in left. Tulowitzki blue. So there you go, Twix. A little blue insert of Troy Tulowitzki for you. Should be interesting. I 
saw that uh, the Mets named Bartolo Colon uh, their opening day starter. I think his rookie year, Theodore Roosevelt threw out the first pitch. He's got to be. He's he's seriously got to be a hundred years old. Bartolo Colon's been around forever. Pitched against Honus Wagner. Well, I mean, you know, what do you do? You throw your rookie pitchers in there, and especially in Colorado, you let them get hit around if they're not there. Could have a psychological effect on them. The NLE should be interesting. I mean, I guess the Nats are the hands-down favorite, but the Phillies decide to deal Cole Hamels. I don't know what's going on there. Heard the Red Sox are interested. No autos yet, Gilbert. We did pull a David Wright jersey and a whole bunch of blue. Not an auto yet. This is only box number three. Played for a team that no longer exists. Nice. The Scranton Black Sox. Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez. They didn't improve that. I think they're, you know, banking on pitching again. They spent their money on Scherzer. I mean, that's a sick, sick pitching lineup to get through. I mean, there's a lot of sick pitching out there now. I have no idea what the breakdown is. Two autos and two swatches per case. Four autos, one relic. Well, we pulled our relic then. See what we can do, guys. That is true. You can't start five guys, but I mean, in a three-game series, if you go what? It would be uh, Scherzer, Strauss, Strasburg, and Giovanni. Would that be the three? Corey Spagenberg. Yeah, this is their all-or-nothing point, I would say, too. Oh, yeah, Zimmerman. That is, yep, I didn't even think about that. Skipped my mind there. Troy Tulowitzki. Be an interesting matchup if they met the Giants again. Nothing there. There's Nick Castillo. All right, Twix. Matt Shoemaker.
I haven't seen a short print yet. I'm looking for those non-baseball. There's Bernie Brewer. Nice handlebar mustache. Oh, that's only box three. Ryan Braun. All right, so AL East, who do we got? Orioles repeat. Blue Jays actually play up to their potential. Red Sox make a comeback. Henderson Alvarez, blue. What do you guys think? Don't forget to follow us, guys. Check out our baseball breaks. It's an odd year, so it's time for them to win again. Zimmerman and Strasburg. And last pack of boxes. Number three. All right. So no hitting there. First to worst to first. True, true, true. If the Cubs don't make some noise in the NL Central this year, they should be ready. Pitching's still a question mark, but I'm not saying playoffs, but. Keep this going. See if we pull a hit here. One of one. I want to see what a one of one looks like. All right, our 3D of U Darvish for the Rangers. Blue of Johnny Gomes for the A's. No longer on the team. Jimmy Rollins blue. Nothing there. Nothing there. Evan Longoria. So let me, get, let me ask you guys this. Since the hits are few and far between, how are they selling? Anybody know? Since there's only five hits per 20 boxes, so one in every four boxes. Or 
or are they just treat it like, okay, opening day is a fun little product to rip? Bryce Harper in a fireman's hat. Dalton Pompey, blue. I'm just thinking from that standpoint, if you can only get one in every four boxes, I don't know what the odds say on the back of this. Opening day is one of five, one of ones is one in 10,080. So if we pull a one of one, that'd be awesome. Printing plates are one out of every 2,400. Base variations, one out of every 307. Opening day autos, one out of 383. Mascot autos, one out of 776. And the relics are 383 also. Kyle Seeger Blue. The Swinging Friar. Nothing there. Nothing. says ages six and up five-year-olds just severely cut themselves to death on the on the corner okay now to there should be due for like a base variation or something here Pablo Sandoval Blue. So back to what we we're talking about. AL East. Who's got it? Who's going to win it? Who's taking it down? Of 
Carlos Gomez blue opening day that this blue would be a pretty cool set to put together Nothing there. Freddy Franchise. Mike Walker. Michael Walker for the Cardinals. Three to go. Another jersey, our second jersey. So this is our second relic going to the Red Sox. David Ortiz, David Ortiz, Red Sox relic. Our second relic. David Wright. David Wright was our first one, a piece of orange jersey for the Mets. Box. Box five. Flying through it here. Quarter of the way done after this one. What's that? Okay, here we go. Box five. I'm looking for some excitement. Let's beat those odds. One in 10,000. Pull a one on one. Ryan Howard. Fred Bird. I was out there for four games. I don't remember seeing Fred Bird. Masahiro Tanaka, 3D card. I think there's 10 guys with relics. What's there, like 10 guys with autos? Plus there's like 6 or 7. Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger Blue. So whoever doesn't get a hit, you'll get a couple extra packs. A 
Wally the Green Monster. Don't forget to click the follow button below. We're looking to get to 140 followers tonight. We're only one short of that when we started the night. Let's keep the chat going because that moves us up on breakers. Might get some more people in here. So I haven't got an answer about the AL East yet. Well, let's go division to division. Orioles repeat. We had a Red Sox was an answer. So let's go NL East. There's Mariner Moose. Who's the home run champ this year? Let's do it that way. Michael Walker Blue. Chris Bryant, home run champ of what? Triple A, Iowa? <laughs> He is on a tear in spring training. Is he hitting a home run every three at bats or just under every three at bats? Clayton Kershaw, 3D. Mental note. OMG calls 46 homers. I'll take the under. Should be interesting to watch him tear into a ball, that's for sure. Get a whole bunch of major league at bats. See what he could do after pitchers adjust to him. And Gilbert stepping up with the way under. I just don't know how many plate appearances he's going to get. And that's the interesting part, what the Cubs are going to do with him. Garrett Cole, blue. Just very weird how they're treating this whole situation with him. Look for me in September and tell me I was. Oh, hey! We pulled one! Ha <laughs> ha! What are these? One in every 776. Here's one of our autos going to the Marlins. Billy the Marlin auto! There's one of our autos, Billy the Marlin. Who signs it? The signing of all autographs is witnessed by a Topps representative. Like, does the guy have to wear the costume? Does the guy have to wear the costume while he's in front of the Topps guy? That's my question.
Plus, what gets me, it's a sticker auto. Oh, don't be Debbie Downers. Let's see what else we could pull. We pulled two relics so far. A Marlin auto. I just don't understand since it's been signed in front of a Topps representative. Like someone had to sit there and watch somebody sign Billy the Marlin. Is it like the current guy who wears the suit? I'm so confused right now. Back to Chris Bryant. So who wins the NL Central then? Cardinals still? Are they still way ahead of... There's Orbit. Hey, Busy, what's going on? He's saying the Cardinals easy. Yeah, I don't think anybody's there yet. Who's their real competition in the center? Pirates? I think they might have taken a step back. No, the Cubs aren't anything yet. I think they need a little bit more pitching. AL West. Angels still. Seattle have enough now. going to be the Astros. Brewers. <laughs> nice. Hale Central. Kansas City. The White Sox. I don't think Minnesota. Maybe the Tribe. Two, four packs. I don't even know what box we're on here. Box five, I believe. Or are we on six? One, two, three, four, five, eleven, fifteen. This is box five. So for, so far through five boxes, we've pulled two relics and an auto. Blue of Joe Maurer. There is Chicago White Sox mascot. Whatever that is. Identifying feature. Shag Schnoz. <laughs> oh, God. This is on the back of his car. The identifying feature of this mascot is the Shag Schnoz. No, he doesn't have a name. He doesn't have a name. It's just the Chicago White Sox matza, uh, mascot. Edwin Encarnacion Blue. Kansas City Royals mascot. Nine-pointer crown. Like, some of them have the names on them, and the others don't. Oh, I know his name is Southpaw. 
I've been out to Chicago a few times, seeing him on TV and stuff. Why well, I was out there, but not according to Tops. His name is Chicago White Sox mascot. Uh, yeah, we pulled a David Ortiz uh, jersey Twix, and we pulled a Billy the Marlin mascot auto. Come on, let's pull a 101. One in 10,000. Let's do it. And then I'm getting in the car right after this and going to the casino if I pull a 1 in 10,000. Might still do it anyway. Huh? Uh, let me see. The mascot autos. Yes, it's Billy the Marlin, the Philly Fanatic, Rangers Captain, TC Bear, and Teddy Roosevelt. And the Teddy Roosevelt is an actual presidential auto of Teddy Roosevelt. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's the guy with the big head, Teddy Roosevelt. What's the Phillies mascot selling for there, Twix? Did you see it online? Did it sell? The Fanatic? What's he selling for? What a pain in the ass that guy is. Although he used to get around the big uh, Oscar Mayer hot dog shooting uh, thing during one of the innings. Yeah. They shoot hot dogs in the stands down there. Can never be a bad thing. No. $24 for the... Really? $24? Nice. <laughs> nice, busy. Fun fact. Nice. I was just telling um, Kevin that I knew the guy who was, when the Phillies were the Red Barons, I knew the guy who was the the at-the-park mascot. He was the at-the-park mascot. Uh, he was the grump for the Red Barons. But then I told him there was a whole issue with the other grumps. There was like three grumps. One that went to birthday parties, one that was in parades, and one that was at the stadium. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Philly Fanatic Auto selling for 28 with one hour left. If you want to go pick that up. We got a Jared Weaver. Jared Weaver. There's Paws. What's the Kansas City Royals mascot's name? Because they just call him Kansas City Royals. Birthday Grump drew the short stick. Don't forget to follow us. There's Paws for the Tigers. I haven't seen Lucille. I wonder if Lucille's in this. That's one of the Giants mascot. It's a seal. His name is Lou Seal. <laughs> Snap. TC Bear Mini. $22 with three days. This is awesome. So whoever had the Marlins there picked up a nice little pickup. Jed Jiroko. You know, that's the key here, too, with these. Like, those blues, they'll, I don't know what they're selling for, but they'll sell for a couple bucks because people are trying to build the sets. BB King's... What? KC is Slugger? That sounds about right, Twix. What does that mean, B.B. King's guitar has a card? Was B.B. King's guitar Jacob DeGrom 3D called Mini? Well, they're few and far between. If we can pull a 101, that'd be good. Well, like I said, you're going to get a bunch of blues, chances are. Oh, Lucille. There we go. Thank you. No, Lucille... <laughs> 
I'm so lost right now. Hey, there's the Chicago White Sox mascot, not named, but what he is known for is his, come on, focus, his shag schnoz identifying feature. Check out the shag schnoz there of Oscar the Grouch meets a shag carpet. Because when I think White Sox, I think of a giant green creature. Carlos Beltran Blue. And nothing there. I've seen worse mascots than the dinosaur. All right, let's start that list. What are the worst mascots? Lucas Duda Blue. Help me pass the time here, guys, so I don't go crazy. So here it's not a 3D. I never saw the Robo Duck. I know there's a banana slug out there. Crazy crab. Baxter to Bobcat. So there you go, busy. They know uh, Arizona's uh, Arizona's mascot's name. Matt's still living in the 60s with his giant baseball head. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, forgot about him. They'll never get rid of him. No, you can't get rid of Mr. Matt. There'd be such outrage. What, a billy goat? Oh, snap. Pantless bear, nice. <laughs> Doesn't it like it look like a like a really old teddy bear? I can't picture it right now. There he is. Look at Mr. Met there. Camouflage and locks of hair. Do the Mariners have a mascot? I'm trying to think. I'm going through all the teams in my head trying to picture their mascots. For some reason, I'm thinking the Mariners are the... This is like a dolphin or something, but I don't think that's right. Uh, it's Snowflake from Ace Ventura. Daniel Norris blew there. Oh, the New Britain Yard Goats. The New Britain, that's where, uh, whatchamacallit's double-A team was. And then they moved. The Giants' double-A team was there. And then they were at Norwich. And they were New Britain. And I think now they're in Virginia. Which is the Giants' only East Coast team. So 
I get to go see them once in a while when they play the Binghamton Mets. I used to go up and see them play. Remember being all excited, I got Daniel Ortmeyer's a salty old fisherman. Oh yeah, that's right, the Sonics did. I remember getting Daniel Ortmeyer's autograph thinking, because he was one of the top prospects in the Giants organization. Yeah, he didn't pan out. They moved to Albuquerque. So what happened to the isotopes? Are the isotopes still in Albuquerque? I haven't kept up on my farm league moving around. Or is Colorado now the isotopes? Because I think the isotopes were for Los Angeles Dodgers, aren't they? Baltimore Orioles mascot. I don't know what his name is. They don't know his name. Three to go. I remember the Dodgers. Yeah, I remember the Dodgers were in Albuquerque. They were the Isotopes. Mike Leak. They're in the Pacific Coast League. Giants were in Fresno. I think they are still in Fresno. The Grizzlies. The Double A is in Norfolk, I believe now. Single A is in San Jose. At least one of their single A's. Coolest name though, Isotope. Picture of the atom. You know, like that common picture of the atom with the swirly line. The, uh, the Springfield from the Simpsons. Is it the Isotopes, the, the team? Is Springfield the Springfield Isotopes in the Simpsons? I don't know. Could be. I think it might be. Isn't there a nuclear power plant? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I know for a fact Albuquerque was the Isotopes. They are. Busy says they are. Kev, you want to take this? Here. All right, next box. Let's find another hit. We've got three so far. How many are there supposed to be? Five hits, we're saying? we pulled three so far? Maybe we have a hot case. We're not going to confuse that with anything. No. Empty box. See Clayton Kershaw 3D. Jared Weaver in the old school Angels hat. All right, so we did worst mascots. Let's do best mascots. The Grizzly from the Phoenix Suns. Benny the Bull. Brett Gardner Blue. the Buffalo.
Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Anybody watching the NCAA tournament? What's going on there? There's a Sterling Marte blue. My bracket was shot after the second game of the tournament. And Iowa State lost. Badgers down by two at half. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Well, that'll be a giant disappointment if they get knocked out. There's Raymond the... I don't even know what that is. Raymond the Muppet. They know that thing's name. Notre Dame is up 63-54 on Wichita. Nice. DC Bear. There he is again. I don't know what that thing was. It looked like a Muppet. With a big yellow string in his face. That's Bush Stadium. I was out there. One of the nicest stadiums I've been to. I've yet to make it out to San Francisco, but I keep being told I have to. Rosie Red. Nothing there. Blue of Jose Altuve. Alfredo Simon. I don't know what he's wearing. Like a Jedi coat. Identifying feature. Gobs of eye black. Atlanta Braves mascot. No name. Keeping it going, boss. So, if Wisconsin gets knocked out, Arizona has a clean shot to final score. Now, Arizona is one of the best-kept secrets, in my opinion. 
They're they're big. They could defend and they could shoot. I mean, so could Wisconsin for that matter, but I just think Arizona, if they play Wisconsin, they'd beat Wisconsin too. I mean, that's just my opinion. But then again, I'm a Duke fan. But I was very surprised to see that North Carolina made it this far, even though they were seated to do so. I mean, Arizona still has to win. I pretty much crapped out when Virginia lost last week. I crapped out when Iowa State lost in the first round in my one bracket. Listen to all the hype about Iowa State. Got me nowhere. Well, that's a good pick if you have NC beating Wisconsin. Wilmer Flores blue. I don't think we pulled one of those yet. to go. One to go. That's how it always works, right? You have almost one perfect whole region and the rest are just... Alright. Next box. Box number eight coming at us here. Let's find that next auto or relic or whatever. So is it five total uh, hits per case? How does this work? I saw that it might be one relic and four autos. So are we still getting two more hits or... One pool I got in, it had you get five points for an opening round pick, but you get plus the seed differential, which is ridiculous. I I should have just picked all 12 fives and three 13 whatevers and just went with it. Ryan Zimmerman. You heard it was two, so we're still do one auto. So did we get all our autos in that first box, the first set of boxes? We'll see, I guess. Odor.
Garrett Richards. You want me to do one big uh, video? You want me to pause the video? Yeah. Guys, don't forget we got a whole bunch of baseball. I know you're just sitting there hanging out with us, and we appreciate it tonight. Filling this little cheap lots of card break. But you can reserve your spots, and check out that loyalty program. The more you spend, the more you save, and you don't have to wait for a coupon anymore. If you spend 250 bucks the whole next month, you get two and a half off all of our breaks. No matter if there's a coupon or not, and when the 10% coupon comes out, you can apply that and replace of that 2.5%. If you spend $500, the next month you'll get 5% off all your breaks, no matter if there's a coupon or not. So it's actually really good because you can get deals on stuff that's not released yet. Or not, not couponed yet, let's put it that way. Up to yep, we already have some guys saving up to twelve and a half percent. So spend a thousand, you get ten percent from fifteen hundred, and the next month you'll get twelve and a half percent off the breaks. There's slider. So another Muppet. Cleveland Indians. Billy Fanatic. It's the first one I saw him. Brandon Phillips, blue. Adam Jones, 3D. Keep doing it, boss. Keep doing it, Luke. Buster Posey. There's Clark. He doesn't have any pants on. <laughs> Notre Dame's going to win. I had them going far for just what they did in the ACC tournament. Guys, is there any, um, besides Bowman Chrome, anything else you're looking forward to in baseball or any sport for that matter so we know what to load up on? Like, we're definitely probably going to load up on Inception Baseball. Can't wait for that. Or is there any old product you'd like us to get our hands on? The old product is shooting up. Wherever Chris Bryant is available in, the product is through the roof. Anything with Melvin Gordon in it? That'll be a lot of stuff. Like I said, we have our Bowman Chrome available. If you want to reserve some spots, I think they're still available. Not Bowman Chrome, sorry, Bowman Baseball. 
kind of set up like Bowman Draft, uh, one hit per box. Nice. Oh, it's a moose. The Mariners have a moose. Mariner moose. It is definitely not what I think it was a dolphin. I say moose speaks nautical. It does. Just like when I think of the Cleveland Indians, I think of a big purple muppet. Anthony Rizzo, blue. Wally the Green Monster. This is uh, get me warmed up for Allen and Ginter. Get me warmed up for Allen and Ginter. Is that in this one? Skeletor Dinosaur. Yeah, we didn't pull one. No, we didn't pull anything crazy with that stuff. Bob print from Little Lions. <laughs> Alright, just 12 boxes to go, guys. <laughs> Only that's it, 12 to go. We're 8 in. Where's our other stuff? Where's our one on one? All right, here we go. Francisco Cervelli, blue. Nothing there. I could take a look at uh, 2010. If there's stuff available. Ramos Ramirez. Definitely check it out and see what we got. I never know how well the old stuff will sell. I mean...
Nothing there. Nothing there. Angel Pagan Blue. Yeah, that's true. That's true there. The redemptions are no good. Sometimes, depending on how close they are, the companies will honor them if you contact them. That's a huge gamble. They'll honor them with what they feel is a nice replacement. I was waiting two years for a patch auto of Derek Coleman with the Nets and out of, I forget what it was, 10? Out of gold standard or something like that. And they sent me a Chris Mullen auto out of 49. That was supposed to replace that card. That sucks. James Shields. I mean, that's just ridiculous, though, in my opinion. The product's still out there. I understand. And I understand they might not be able to get you. There's Rangers Captain. Um, that exact card, but still. Oh, we got a printing plate. Look at that, guys. One of one. One of one, Adam Jones for the Orioles. Very nice. One of one, Adam Jones. Orioles, cyan printing plate from opening day. One out of every 2,300 packs. So there we go. Adam Jones, 1-1 one, one for the Orioles. If you guys have any suggestions for us, feel free to shoot us an email at sales at sportsboxbreaks. Like I said, I was thinking about doing some, uh, maybe listing a Supreme Baseball as a division style. Could do an Inception as a division style. We could do randoms. Is there still any interest in NT Baseball, if we can get it? Well, our second auto is another... A second auto is another... Um, mascot auto. Rangers Captain. Rangers Captain is the se our second auto here. So we pulled two mascot autos. Also, like I said, if you're looking for personal boxes of stuff, if you can't find it, maybe we can. And sometimes we can get it a little bit cheaper. We could rip it live for you right here. We can encase all your hits and then ship you everything. That yeah, is our four hits plus one of one. So let's see. Tim Lincecum Blue. 
we still have 11 boxes. Has anyone broken a case of this? Have you guys seen anybody do this? Are we the only ones that were crazy enough to do one? Came out, was it last Wednesday? I think it was last Wednesday. What was last Wednesday? The what? Last Wednesday was 18th. No, I think it was last Wednesday. Something else came out on the 18th. Pop and Wax broke one. Archer Blue. Maybe it came out the 11th, but I'm thinking it came out the 18th. What came out on the 18th? Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera. Next week we have uh, Select Basketball, three cases of it. That comes out on Good Friday. Hit four was Rangers Captain, mascot out of Gilbert. Blue, Brian McCann. Yeah. That's selling for $25 on eBay, probably. Oh, is that good? Because, I mean, they're less. I'm just I'm so confused right now by this product. I know it doesn't take much, but... Let's see if we can get extra stuff. I mean, we've got 11 boxes here. And we pulled a 101, uh, Gilbert. We pulled a 101 printing plate of Adam Jones. Cyan printing plate. I don't know if you saw that one. I mean, pretty good stuff for the value. If the mascot autos are selling for So this will be the halfway point. If I can get this box to fit. One oh one Puig. <laughs> I'm just happy I pulled a one oh one something. All right, base there. I mean, we pulled two mascot autos, which are low numbered. How about a third mascot auto? Kev, we just pulled the Philly Fanatic auto. There you go. How about a third mascot auto, guys? So 
So there's our next auto. We might have. We are on fire with the mascots. I don't think Kev heard me. He stepped out of the room there. So there's our fifth hit, guys. So we're past the four that we've heard. Did anybody watch Pop and Wax? Did he do a hit recap? What did he have? Brother, you missed it. What did I miss? <laughs> Got him, huh? Philly Fanatic. <laughs> so that's our fifth hit. No, we're not even halfway through. This is box 10. Yeah. Oh, this is box 11. You're right. I don't know where we're at. No, this is box 10. Clayton Kershaw Blue. So we're missing Theodore Roosevelt. We're missing Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, he didn't do a hit recap. I'll run the autos and the plates and the jerseys. I'm not going to do the blues. That'll just take forever in the hit recap, but oh, Orbit amuses me all the time. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just interested to know what's out there since, you know, we had a feeling there might be four hits. Come on, let's keep it up. An auto in every single one the rest of the way here. Or let's pull a one of one. One out of 10,000, it says. We pulled a printing plate, one out of 2,000. So how many packs? 36 packs. Times twenty. How many packs is that? Thirty-six times twenty. Seventy-two hundred packs. So it would be just under the odds. Seven hundred twenty. Oh yeah, seven hundred twenty. What did I say? Seven thousand. <laughs> no, I'm not ripping seven thousand packs. I didn't not ripping two hundred. Ten cases of uh, opening day. Take you a week. Mhm. Mm so do you guys like uh? Divisions, division breaks, division style, random division style. We can list some. All mascots so far, Twix. We pulled the Rangers mascot, the Phillies mascot, and the Marlins mascot. A jersey of, there's Corey Kluber, blue. A jersey of Ortiz and a jersey of Wright. So we're at three autos. We're at three autos and two relics. So maybe we hit our five. Finished in two hours and 25 minutes. So, what are we saying? We're moving too slow.
Felix Hernandez, 3D. I don't even know what I'm on here. Am I at the two-hour mark? I know, I know. Close to it, because I think you finished up uh, the previous case around 7.30. So, that only gives me 25 minutes to finish all those boxes. I guess I should step it up and stop being a chatty Cathy. Nothing there. Well, I hope we don't have a half a case of nothing sitting in front of me here. We got a blue of Johnny Cueto. The rest are base. All right, Notre Dame moving on to the Elite Eight. Cliff Lee. Nothing there. Nothing there. Three to go. There's Clark with no pants. Simmons, blue. Halfway point. Let's see. Empty box. Maybe that it's going to be that long, just hit uh, stop record, start recording. Okay. Just to, uh... 